I am your host, Landre Detergent, and welcome to World of Conspiracy. You know, recently, Time Magazine named Mark Zuckerberg as its Person of the Year. He missed getting Man of the Year by two votes. Zuckerberg and three friends came up with Facebook in 2004 when they were students at Harvard. Harvard's president from 1685 to 1701 was a man named Increase Mather, a Puritan minister who figured prominently in the Salem witch trials. Increase Mather's son, Cotton Mather, was very familiar with the Salem witch trials and wrote about it in his book, Wonders of the Invisible World, and he was friends with several of the judges. One of these judges was named Samuel Smith, and he was the great-great-grandfather of Joseph Smith, the founder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1830. <clears throat> if you take the letters that make up Latter-day Saints, and you rearrange them, Tiny salad taster. Mm -hmm. But you also get uh, Sarina Lady Test. So, who is the Sarina who passed the Lady Test? Perhaps it's Sarina Praskovia. Soldikova, who passed a lady test when she was chosen from a parade of women to become the bride of Tsar Ivan V. When she married Tsar Ivan, she became Peter the Great's sister-in-law. And Peter was the subject of an NBC TV series and was portrayed by actor Maximilian Schell. Now, this miniseries on NBC in 1986 also featured the famous Laurence Olivier, in the role of King William III of Orange. Olivier was famous for many, many roles, notably uh, Hamlet 1948. Also starring in that 1948 production of Hamlet was a young 26-year-old Christopher Lee. Lee was the actor who went on to play Soimon in the Lord of the Ring movies, which also featured actor John Noble in the role of Denethor. John Noble is best known for playing Dr. Walter Bishop in the current TV series Fringe, which also stars Joshua Jackson as Bishop's son Peter. Now, Joshua Jackson also starred in the 2000 movie The Skulls, a thinly veiled indictment of the Skull and Bone Society, Yale's elite secret society. Two famous members of the Skull and Bone Society happened to be Henry Luce and Brighton Haddon, who went on to form Time Magazine. And Time Magazine, of course, chose Mark Zuckerberg, the 2010 Person of the Year. So you see, there are no coincidences. Thank you for